welcome to the last week of college vlog on my channel and probably the last school vlog on my channel. I can't believe I'm done with school now and I've been vlogging me going to school since middle school which is crazy. That was I think in like 2013, 2014. So that whole era is ending and in this video I went to school studying for finals, presentation, cooking and interviewing for jobs and this specific day, Tuesday, I had one final and then I had a presentation for my capstone project with my group and I can't believe this whole era is gone. Like, by the time you're watching this video, I probably would have started my full-time job in advertising already, which is super crazy because I was interviewing non-stop for the past two months to land a job after I graduate and a week after I graduated, I got the offer. So everything kind of worked out and I'm currently back home in the Bay Area spending time with family before I start, you know, the nine to five life for years and years. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and this is the end of my school vlogs. This day I woke up early so I could get ready and also make my breakfast and lunch and this entire school year I have not spent money off campus to buy food to bring back to campus in between my gaps. One because once I get off campus I don't want to come. So this entire school year I have been on a routine to make my lunches and dinners on days that I'm going to school and on days that I come back late because I just, I don't know, I don't want to spend money on food if I can make it myself. And this is my first time making broccolini. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't like terrible, like it was still edible, but it was just was not the best. And I've been doing, you know, meal prepping this entire school year and I think getting down to this routine, has, it has really prepared me or given me a glimpse of how it's like to live alone and have, you know, other priorities like school or work. And now that the 9 to 5 life is approaching and I have to go into office three days a week and it's an hour and a half commute plus sometimes, has really set the, I guess, the structure and the standard for what I need to do when I start working. So I have like 40 minutes until my final, so I'm gonna go to the library to meet up with my friend and we're just gonna go over our notes before we take the final. It's relatively easy, I'm just gonna review before we go in and I have to return the laptop that I borrowed this school year. I didn't even use it because it didn't work and then I just got to lazy to turn it in and now it's the last week of school. My backpack is so heavy. I'm gonna finish my coffee because I don't wanna bring it with me throughout the day and then after my class, I'm just going to be in the library for like a good four hours studying and also prepping for our presentation at 7. Finished my final, I think I got a B on it, and now I'm in the library with my friends Josh and Daichi, so we're just studying or preparing for a presentation, and I remember when I pulled out my camera this time, like, I was like, okay, this is my last time in this library, like, with friends, like, I'm never gonna be in this environment ever again in my life, and some of my friends in this clip, like, they moved home, and some are still in school, and I'm just never gonna experience that, and I'm rewatching it, and it, I don't know, it's just making me feel emotional. classes our presentation went well we didn't go over i think we were just a little under and i didn't use my notes because i just looked up the board and since we have like so many screens i was able to just look forward but we finished that and now i'm done with three out of four of my classes of the semester of my last final on thursday and so i have to lock in tomorrow and then my interview is tomorrow morning i have to call my professor to get prepped for it and I want this job so bad because all the interviews that I did the past two, three weeks, the past month, I didn't get any of them. So that really sucked and it was really stagnant um, for the past two weeks of like interviews coming in. But now I got another one so let's hope that I get somewhere. And after I call my professor, I'm going to get tacos with my friends to celebrate the end of this class because I took this class with like three, four of my friends. I gave it to you. And then I give them back. No, you didn't. Or I gave it to Josh. Wait, what's the water bag? On my way home, it's midnight, and we had tacos, but I had like a 30, 40 minute like phone call with my professor about the job search, and I just want this process to be over. Tacos at my friend's house, and now it's midnight, so now I'm driving home. I have to shower, and I'm just so tired, and I'm bloated because I ate so late, like past like dinner time at like 10.30, and I'm going home. I have to wake up tomorrow to prepare for my interview and hopefully 
landed. After I got home, I showered and then hopped my computer after to do some research. After talking to my professor, I was very motivated to do the research tonight because I didn't want to go to sleep and not know anything about this company and wake up the next day an hour before like frantically researching. So I have a step-by-step -step on how I prepare for my interviews and how I do my research for companies. And with the help of my professor, I was more at ease on how to approach this one. I've had multiple phone screenings and made it to round twos for jobs, but I could not get past that because of what I was doing. But because of his help, I knew how to do this better. And this is the job that I actually did land and I accepted. So I'm starting in a few days. I got the offer a week after I graduated, so I accepted. Then the next day I booked it home to the Bay Area to spend time with family because I didn't know when the next time I would be able to see them because I'll be starting work and living on my own pretty much for the next few years now because I decided to establish my roots in LA and I'm originally from SF so super excited about this journey I can't believe after multiple interviews after multiple job applications like over hundreds and hundreds I finally landed something and I thank my professor for his guidance and mentorship. So if you ever go to Cal State Fullerton, look on my LinkedIn and see who that professor is because without his help, I would not have landed this job. And I have 30 minutes before my phone screening and I'm just gonna prepare a little bit more and update my resume and stuff because yesterday I presented my capstone with my group and I want to put that on my resume, which I did last night, but I'm just going to go over it again just to make sure everything's good. After I do my phone screening, I'm going to finish doing laundry, then eat lunch around like 12, 12.30, and then walk in because I have my last final of college ever tomorrow, and it's for econ. Really well, I think our conversation really flowed, and I hope, you know, there's potential next step. I'm going to send her a follow-up email after my lunch. Um, this is my lunch. This is what I made yesterday. So I have so much broccolini. I don't think this was good. Like I didn't make this very well because it was my first time. And then I have my tilapia and then so much rice. Like I'm not going to eat all of this because this is way too much food. It's officially my last day of college ever, and it's crazy how four years went by this fast. I'm my final at 11, so I'm gonna leave at 10.30 because I can't be late. I'm always late for this call. And then I'm just gonna study a little bit before, and then after I had plans with my big, but we decided to reschedule, so I don't have plans anymore. I kinda wanna do something today because it is my last day of school, but I don't know who's free. We'll figure it out. Or the interview, the job that I interviewed for yesterday, round two and then I also woke up with a request to interview for another company so I'm excited.